Hey y'all, so it's been a minute since I did a video. So today I decided that maybe we should do something fun, uh, something colorful, something that might remind you of better times at the beach or summertime. Anyway, just a little distraction for while we're still all cooped up. So today we're gonna do this jellyfish. And of course you can do whatever color you choose. I've chosen to do the blue with the green. Um, you could do blue and red, you could do um, red and yellow, or whatever choose color combination you choose. This is just two colors, and um, of course you need your round brush. You're going to need a cup of uh, clean water, some paper towels, and some watercolor paper. So here's my watercolor paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get some water in my blue. Now, I'm going to make a little larger uh, jellyfish so y'all can see maybe a little bit better what I'm doing. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of make my outline here of the top of the, the jellyfish. So I'm just going to kind of come around like this, like that right there, and just kind of have maybe a little more of a point on the corners. So we're just gonna kinda outline this guy. And you're gonna have to have a little wet. Yep, keep it a little wet, because I'm gonna show you why in just a second. Okay, so now I've washed my brush out. And with a damp brush and some water, I'm just gonna come right up to the edge of where that paint is with the water. So it's gonna kinda bleed into itself. Do you see how that's working? I'm just gonna kinda come right up to the edge and I want it to kinda bleed into itself. But we're leaving, if you can see, we're leaving that white area right in there because I want it to give kinda the idea of it being very light and airy and and um, kind of thin. You know how jellyfish moves in the water and they move that around, that top part around to propel themselves through the water. So I'm just gonna kinda come back with some of the paint and kinda bring that top down a little bit too. Cause I want that to be just a little bit just a little bit darker. And I want it to be kind of dark in here too. So I'm bringing some more paint around and just letting it kind of flow. Y'all see how that's working? So just paint and water is all this is. And where it's wet is where that's gonna flow into. But again, we're keeping that area right there open and free from color because we want it to really look kind of uh, almost invisible. All right, the next thing we're going to do, while it's still wet, we're going to come down just a little bit with that little area there so it's going to make it look like other half of the jellyfish's top. Okay, so that's where we are with everything. And again, we're going to wash our brush out. And with a damp brush, just kind of come back in here with a little water and kind of make that, kind of just soften that a little bit. Okay, so there's our jellyfish top. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to change colors. So I'm going to get some water in my green. And it's a good water uh, paint pigment combination here. Don't want it too thin with water, but we don't want just pigment either. We want to give it kind of a light look. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of come down and just kind of pull some lines. And they don't have to be really straight. 
As a matter of fact, we don't want them to be straight. And they don't have to be a continuous line either. Because if you actually see a jellyfish, there's longs and shorts on their tentacles. Y'all know what tentacles are? That's what we're painting. All right. So we've got the green ones. And we're just going to kind of come in here with a little, I'm going to wash my brush out. And with a little damp brush, I'm just going to kind of come in here and pull some of this color. Just pull it around just a little bit. Because I want to soften that just a hair with some of that. Just kind of give it the idea. Okay. Just kind of soften some of that. Okay, so we've got it softened. And I'm washing my brush out again. And I'm going to go back to this area up here because I see I have a really harsh line there. So I'm just going to kind of soften that a little bit. Give myself just a little bit of softening there. And then I'm also going to come back with more paint, more pigment than water. And I want to give this line right here just a little bit more definition. Just a little bit more. I want it to come in here and really, that line to be really defined that's the edge of the top of that jellyfish. We really want it to have some lines coming up from it. Okay, now with that same paint, we're going to pull some more tentacles down and pull some blue ones down. I have more paint than I have water to make it move, to make it flow smoothly. Got to have some water in it. Okay, I'm just going to kind of pull these and do, we may pull a few like this and like that. Just pull a few down. Okay. fun is that? He looks kind of like a monster, doesn't he? Okay, last step. And this is just going to give us kind of some blue water. Kind of give the idea, the impression of. And I'm just picking up a really light amount of paint here. And just putting some blue kind of around in the area of, kind of like back behind and down in here, just to kind of give the impression of it being surrounded by water. And again, we want some darks and lights in here. Wash that guy away. I'm going to come back in here and put him, define him a little bit more. Okay, guys. So, just kind of play with it a little bit there. And there you have the jellyfish.